Now I'm going to use a very simple example to demonstrate how do we update the roofs. Yeah, how do we update the tau ij? Assume that we are going to have this graph. Yeah, so we have the node one, two, three, four, five. The dashed lines as well as the solid line, they are the connection between nodes. That means we have a connection between one and two. We do not have a connection between one and five. Yeah. The solid line right here, that is the path chosen or used used by an end. Take a look at this one. The source node that is one. So we start from look one and then the target node that is five. That means we are going to find a path. The end starting from one to five. So and k that is two, it means that uh, we have two end. So we have an end right here, and then this end which use the path one four four three three five indicated by the solid line right here associated with each link we have the tau value so this is tau one two again tau one two equals tau two one in this example and d one two that is the cost if you are going to use one two the cost it would be d one two it means that you may consider that that is the length of this path yeah okay so that's why in each length we have the d value we have the tau value they can be dependent um, on the iteration t yeah dij that is dji as well for simplicity right. now as we consider when we use this uh, end corner optimization the number of n that is two so we are going to use the n one and then using the transition probability and so we are going to find the look one going to look for and then in look one we have another trans transition probability table assume that it takes the look three and look three it goes to look five and then that's it that is the destination dot so the solution for n1 that is x1 this one means that it is the first n the n1 and in the t that is in the iteration t we are going to pick the node one so we have one and then the next node that is four so we have comma four and then three comma three and then the last node that is five so this is the solution representation for x k t and then so f back at x one t it means that that is the solution used by xk so for the first end because you we use this path and then so that means we are going to sum up all all the d value along this path that is d14 d34 and then d35 right here that is the total cost given by the solution of the end run so because we have two ends, we are going to move on to the next end. Again, we are going to have n2 starting from node 1 using the transition probability to find the next node from node 1 and then the next node that is 4. Right here, we have another transition probability. Assume that we go to node 2. So sitting at node 2, we have another transition probability table. Assume that we goes to look we go to look 3, the last look that is look 5. So this is the solution representation for n2 x superscript 2 back at t 1, 4, 2, 3, 5. Graphically, that is this path, this path, this and that. Yeah. So the cost that is fx2 that is d14 given right here plus d42 uh, d d24 uh sorry d42 but actually d42 equals t d24 so we are going to put the d right here plus d23 plus d35 that is the total cost of this solution yeah okay so now we are going to talk about how do we apply this update rule because we already have the value q we already have the cost f and now that 
and also we know the value of tau ij given by this figure given by this diagram yeah so what we are going to determine that is the tau value in the next iteration that is this guy so for example before we are going to update this tau value we have to do fermion evaporation that is the negative feedback that means we are going to you know, so this one that is um back cat right here zero to one so we are going to choose the value we are going to choose the value of rho so assume that rho that is 0 0.2 and then this one gives you 0 0.8 so that means before we are going to apply the value right here every tau value that is we need to times that by 0 0.8 according to this Vermont uh, evaporation update rule yeah okay so assume that we are talking about tau 14 that is this guy yeah and looks that every tau we have to update that using this rule and every tau we have to perform evaporation yeah so for example i'm going to talk about tau 14 and then i just replace ij by 14 here so tau 14 that is the tau 14 after evaporation and now i'm going to expand this bit we have two ends so we have two delta value and then the first delta value that is given by the n1 the second value that is given by n2 so take a look at tau 14 how many ends we have how many n use this path we have n1 use this path n2 use this path so we are going to just apply this bit q divided by fx1 that is the contribution made by n1 and then when k equals 2 that would be the contribution made by n2 q divided by fx2 yeah so i'm going to show you another example for example that is tau 3 4 tau 3 4 that is right here this link this path only used by n1 so you can see that we only have n1 using this path and then n2 does not use this one so that's why we have tau 3 4 plus the contribution this is the delta tau um, 3 4 used by n1 at iteration t plus zero because this n2 does not use this path so the contribution is zero so tau 3 4 is tau 3 4 t plus the contribution of n1 yeah the same applies to all other edges right here so i will leave that to you yeah 